This is the Browning Automatic Rifle, otherwise known as the BAR, the M1918A2. There were no significant changes in its design from 1917 all the way till its end of its service life in the 1960s. It's a 30 caliber magazine fed machine gun that's extremely rugged and completely reliable. It also had two modes of fully automatic fire, approximately 350 and 550 rounds per minute. Very controllable and extremely accurate. It was a major development in the history of machine guns as it was designed to be used by one man versus a two or three man machine gun crew. Also, it could be fired from the standing, kneeling, or prone positions. The BAR played a prominent role in the Korean conflict where UN forces faced overwhelming numbers of Chinese and North Korean troops who were armed primarily with bolt action rifles and some Russian submachine guns. Chinese tactics consisted mainly of mass infantry attacks against the American and allied positions. Fighting was conducted both at long and short range and American forces depended on delivering overwhelming firepower to counter these mass attacks. It was common in World War II in Korea for soldiers to take off the carrying handle and the bipod of the BAR as they were somewhat useless in combat. It just added weight to the already heavy soldier's burden. The American soldiers found that during mass attacks, the 20 round magazine, although superior to the eight round clip of the M1 Grand, was not quite enough to get the job done. Although heavy, the BAR is still manned portable and the 20 round magazine means you had far superior firepower to the enemy's bolt action rifles. BARs combined with M1919 machine guns and M3A1 submachine guns provided a tremendous volume of suppressive fire. For instance, during the Battle of Outpost Harry in June 1953, five companies of American and Greek soldiers held out for nine days against wave after wave of mass attack from over 13,000 Chinese soldiers. During this period, UN forces suffered only 114 casualties while inflicting approximately 4,500 casualties on the Chinese. The tactical impact of the BAR was tremendous. It provided the firepower base for the infantry squad and also gave the individual soldier, rather than a machine gun crew, overwhelming firepower. 